Hi, I'm Terrell Sorensen, a Power County Extension Educator. We're here today. We're going to go over what the, some of the snow tail sites, how to get onto them, and how to use the information there and the benefits that it can be to you. Well, it's great to be here with you today, Terrell. Uh, my name is Grant Loomis, and I live up in the Blaine County area, and I like to recreate quite a bit, including uh, fishing, water activities such as boating, kayaking, uh, a little bit of paddle boarding up on like Alturas Lake, Redfish Lake, and then come winter time, I'll go with my family and do some skiing at uh, the, the resort up there, Sun Valley Resort, and mostly, mostly groom stuff. I don't do any backcountry skiing out in the wilderness. I have some friends that do, and I hear some of their experiences uh, I was just curious, uh, what uh, what information can I gain from Snowtail that would help inform me as I consider plans for recreation in the winter months or even into the summer and fall months? Okay, one of the good things about it is that with your Snowtail sites, you're almost covered everywhere with the different mountains and different areas. So why don't we go ahead and we just look on it and you can get your snow depth, you can get the snow water equivalent you can tell them precipitation mm -hmm. you can kind of get a forecast of what your river systems are going to be like in the coming year so let's go ahead and we'll just look at we'll look it up let's just go to nrcs and it'll pop up and you can either go to the snowpack map let's go to it and go to the interactive maps let's go to that one first Oh, wow. It brings it up as uh, you can actually zoom in or zoom out a little bit with it. Well, let's go in. We'll just go up into the Sun Valley area here. Let's just pick out one of these sites that we can go to here. This is just the NRCS USDA site, Department of Ag. Okay, here's the Galena Summit right now. We can take a look at it. Let's pop it up. We can get it bigger. You can see this is what we're looking at right now as of February 13th. You can see we were doing really well. We were following this line right here about January 14th was about our last storm that came in. We've just been dead flat for now for just well over a month right now. It looks like we're just coming up. We're still in good shape on the snow mm -hmm. right there. We pull up on it. It looks like right now we're a hundred and sixteen percent of average. We're about eighty percent of the median. In other words, what that means is our high is usually over here about April eighth. And we can see we still got a gain or right now if we didn't gain more we'd be eighty percent. So mm -hmm. we need to gain some more to get over to the peak. We usually start melting out on the Galena Summit about the week of the 8th to the 15th. We usually mailed out about May 31st, so we're usually about then. And over on this side, you can see how we're kind of compared to other years. You can go down through, you got the, let's look at last year's. See, we're still above last year's right now, but we're still on the exact same slope that we're going across mm -hmm. right now. Last year we went and we peaked out about March 25th, and our snow actually started melting in, but we started picking up some rain. So we ended up pretty good, clear over here into May, and then we had some pretty good storms coming right in there that kept us and kept the snow from melting clear out. Hey, that's one thing to look at it. You know, there's a lot of different sites we can look at. That's Galena Summit if you want to be up in that area. Let's look on another one. Here's another one. You could go over into the Big Lost. Vienna Mine is right here. It's still on the Galena Summit. Let's go back again. Let's go down into our... We could get a a map here's a bigger map here you can go look on there's all kinds of things you can do with this so 
Yeah, from, so what are these numbers that I'm seeing in the colors? What, are that, what does that mean exactly? That's the percent of normal of your snow water equivalent. Like right now on the big wood, the mm -hmm. little woods, you're looking at 124% of normal. If you go back, you remember what the Galena Summit was, that's just about exactly. You can see, you go down here on the south side, 118 in the Waihee. Bear River's over here, about 135. So we're still above 100 on most of the sites right there. So if I'm looking at this, and my, I've got a friend that asks if there's pretty good snow in the area, this tells me there is then. Right now there is, yes. Yeah, based to normal conditions. Yep. You know, you can pull up the individual sites if you want to. Let's go back and we can... Let's go and look at the snow tail map again. Current conditions. There's the same one. You keep going, going down. Here's the water year to date, percent of normal. Here's the western United States. You can look, you know, different yeah. areas to see what's going on. It's February 13th, percent of normal. So you can see we got a pretty good snowpack right now. We can still tell that we're still, our soil moisture and that's still been pretty dry. Mm -hmm. Here's the Idaho percent of normal. You can see we've had some good storms coming through on the eastern side, but it starts drying out just about the Sun Valley area. Mm -hmm. You see we've been really dry on the western part of Idaho over the last month. In fact, real dry. This gives you the departure for normal. I mean, there's there's all kinds of... All sorts of data points I could look at. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can spend hours if you want. Let's go look at another site. Let's look up the report. What this is right here, this will give you a really good indication of where you're at. This is telling you for the whole state of Idaho, like you got the northern panhandle, mm -hmm. the Clearwater Basin, salmon. In other words, if you wanted to see what the runoff's going to be, you can get a pretty good estimate of it coming up later in the spring. Payette, Boise, here's the big wood where you live at. Mm -hmm. This is kind of a summary. You can go to the Camas Creek Divide. You can see the whole basin right now is 124%. This is your snow water equivalent. This tells you, this figure is here from the 1st of October, how much moisture you've received for that. You can see we're 104, we're just about right on average. You can tell you're different. You got the Sol Soldier mm -hmm. Ranger Station, Lostwood Divide, Hindeman, Galena. You can see what each side is. Gives you a pretty good indication. Yeah, even with that, it looks like you could see if one is lacking more than another. Yeah. Like I'm looking at that Dollar Hide Summit, and it looks like if you go over in that far right column, it's at 89. Is that would that be 89% of normal? Yeah, of your it's rainfall not... and snowfall. Gotcha. In other words, for the water Total. year. Gotcha. We're pretty good shape on that 122% on the snow water equivalent. Mm -hmm. I see. But you can go to each basin this way. You know, it looks like the little wood right next to is almost exactly the big lost 124%. It's a little better on the, you know, the water equivalent, mm -hmm. rainfall plus the. And you get down here, you can go into the Henry's Fork. You can see they're just right out, just above normal right now, 105. Snake River above Palisade, you see you got a lot of sites there. You could, if you're looking to go into those areas, say to snowshoe or mm -hmm. ski or. Yeah, you or even snowmobile right or something like that. Yeah, snowmobiling. <clears throat> so you got all of these. Here's one here that they, on the Bear River Basin, the Immigrant Summit. This is a big snowmobile area. You can tell 
They're 141 percent on their snowpack. This over here, this column here, tells you your elevation too, mm -hmm. so you can see what uh, how high up it is. Is that the elevation of the actual station, the Snowtail station? Yes. Hmm. Yeah, it's you know based. You can see there's some that's getting up there pretty good. Some of your lower elevations, you got like Oxford Spring, just 67.40. That's fairly low. Then you can go up there. You got the like your Sedgwick Peak is 78.50. You know Tony Grove, you're getting up there to 8,500. Trial Lake, you're almost 10,000 feet. Mm-hmm. Getting pretty high up there. Yeah. You know, according to what you want to do, or if you're fishing or whatever. But that's one really good site to look at. Oh yeah, there's lots of information here, it looks like. I mean, like I say, you can spend a long time looking at it. But it gives you a really good indication of what snowpack is. So. Well, thanks, Terrell. I appreciate you walking me through these sites. And hopefully I can make some better informed decisions as I'm planning some of my recreational activities for this winter and then also what it looks like what water will be available in streams and reservoirs and lakes. Yeah, it's really, uh, if you're fishing in reservoirs or streams, I mean, you can kind of predict what it's going to be just looking at this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yep, thank you.